Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Distant Worlds Honorverse. This is episode number seven. <clears throat> so we're just blossoming outward, beginning to explore. Uh, you can see that the map type we used for this was even clusters. You can see that uh, our Kingdom of Manticore is taking over this star cluster. It doesn't look like there are any other empires in this, although there's, you know, quite a few more stars for us to explore. Remember, I started on the outskirts, so it doesn't I mean, that could just as easily imply anybody else is able to start on the outskirts, and then we might be meeting them pretty soon. Um, the enemy empires, or the other empires, they're not enemies yet, are usually a little bit slower, although I... They're usually a little bit slower to hyperdrive, but by this point, let's see, I forgot to just advance a second. Oh, yeah, yeah, 10 years in, okay, they, they, they all have hyperdrive. <laughs> Never mind. They are all hyper, uh, um, faster than light empires at this point. So we could run into them eventually, although the very first warp drive and not having the fuel usually keeps things pretty small. It's just a very good evolution to the game, the way the research is set up. Okay, so let's, uh, let's just keep pushing on. We can push over at 4x speed still. And um, sometime at this... In this uh, episode, I plan to get our first military vessel out. Um, if you're thinking about things from a kingdom standpoint, of course we we have police. I mean, I'm I'm abstracting the police keeping force, so we're not um, paying attention to those kind of details. But as far as having a military goes, of course we would have a military. Oop! There we go. That's a great new one. I don't think we have anybody even. Oh, we do. Okay, so let me control through this, because the original Control 3 and Control 4 both have stuff already being built. Where are you? Are you at home? You're ready to go. Wow, perfect. Okay, well, in that case, our new gas mining station is going to be right here. Just gas. Gas Mark 2. There it is. <clears throat> Where is this one that we're building at? Oh, in Western. Okay, that's, that's really good. That's going to enable us to get a little bit further. This exploration ship will be able to refuel there. It's good. Very good. <clears throat> Since we're already kind of exploring the system, let's take a quick look at what else this system has to offer. Supposedly, like, a lot of stuff. Let's see. What does that mean? Lead iridium. Gold, lead iridium. Uh, this one's, oh wow, holy cow, almost 100% on three resources. Well, we can queue this up as control four. That's definitely going to be another one of the ones we're going to want to grab. Um, Emeros Crystal, Aculon, and Necrostone at just absolutely absurd rates. Uh, again, I'm getting, I feel like I'm getting really lucky with some planets here, but this is one of the best planets I've ever seen. I don't think we necessarily need it right now. We've actually been really fortunate this um, series so far that we're getting like really good planets but that's <clears throat> anyways that's definitely going to be one that we call um, not colonize but I'll put a mining station on and the rest look like pretty standard affair nothing else we need to build anything on okay good <clears throat> as for this guy's next order um, let's have him refuel, because uh, by the time he goes anywhere, he's going to want to refuel anyway. <clears throat> you can see it's almost possible for us to make a fifth construction base, but I find having four is usually as many as I need. Um, right now, we do have a bit of a queue to build things. Well, just one, plant, one mining station is queued, but we don't even need that one. There's no reason not to build it because, again, our private economy, eh, I think they're actually doing a little bit worse than the last time I checked, but um, they have a, just a massive positive, and they have like 3 million on hand now. So that looks really good for them. Let's see. Okay, so keep going. We're getting really close to the next tier of hyperdrive which is going to change everything. I mean, getting a mining station on, or a gas refueling station on Wustray is 
just not going to matter the moment we have that next tier of hyperdrive. And that's something for me to consider. Um, by the way, off camera, I think I am going to edit one of our ship captains, or really one of our fleet captains is what I'm going to do. And I'm going to make one of them called Honor Harrington, just so we have a little bit more. She will appear eventually, and we'll try to make her our fleet commander for the main one that goes into the combat. Okay, keep on going, I guess. I'm interested to see what we find there. Do we have another? I always feel like we're missing. Yep, see, always somebody who you missed out on. Let's go ahead and explore this system since it doesn't look like anybody's en route there. And everyone else has a mission. Okay, two things happened at the same time. You finished your mission, which was actually to make a refueling station, so why don't you just refuel at this mining station? <laughs> and then we'll get you, after that, over to build something on Westry, I think. Oh, there it goes. Refueling is happening. Alright, so let's get you over here. And which one was it? I think it was this one. Yeah. So then go ahead and build a mining station here, just ore. Okay, good. Um, let's check on something in our home system now. I want to see how our resort base is doing. It's this one, right? No. Mining station, I can't find it. Is it here? Nope. Ah, surely, nope, <laughs> nope, all right, <clears throat> uh, I thought I was just going to be able to find it, there it is, there's our resort, so it's on Kyaria 1, I should just try to remember that, right now we have 540, very nice, um, is it really mattering so much, well you can see in our income, we're getting 164 from the colony tax now, and only 7k per year, so we're really small amount is due to resorts. I also wanted to see this because around this time is probably when I would start building another resort when they get to about half a million. So when our construction ships start freeing up we will uh, probably get another one to build at the resort. Okay, you finished your mission. What do we have here? Oh. I think this is another good one to build at. Tiderios, Argon. I think we don't need Argon yet, but let's see. Hydrogen, not important. We are not... Oh! Ah, it's an asteroid. I thought we had a, an abandoned ship or something. I should just be looking in the bottom right. I haven't been doing that, and that's a really bad thing. Because... Did we already find... Uh, see, I already, I already don't remember. Didn't we already find another abandoned ship somewhere that we need a construction ship to go over and repair? We don't need to hurry up about that, because usually the abandoned ships take a while to be claimed by other places or other empires. Even the pirates are a bit are quite slow. Still, I mean, it's a free ship, and if it's not outside of our home system, it probably has hyperdrive, which means it's a very good ship. So I don't see anything in this system other than the planet we're currently at. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's much else out outside of the planet we're currently at. So let me just put this one down as three, four. Okay, let me just put this one down as three, since everyone else, <clears throat> three and four are both being built at. Get this guy to refuel at the nearest point, and then we'll task him again after that. Okay, you've completed your mission. Very good. Why don't you go ahead and refuel at this station, actually? And then we'll give you a new order soon. And you also require refueling. Didn't I just give you an order to refuel? Wait. Oh, shoot. Did I... Oh, crap. I think I might have canceled the order to build. No? 
Okay, let's... Uh, yeah, okay, so this... Cheerful Splendor, was she supposed to be building something, or did she finish her duty? She's completed her mission, okay. So we gave her an order to refuel. Ah, I see. We had two finished at the exact same time, so I need to do this like that. Okay, good. Just have them suck off the teat that they just constructed. All right, more things finishing up here. How's this system looking? What? Wait. You did not complete your mission, buddy. Wait. Yeah, this is a... You were given an order to explore the system, and I'm seeing a planet which you did not explore. That's not acceptable. So, hopefully he gets his act together. The fact that he's going to the center of the system means he may not go to that other place, and I'll have to manually task him there. I'm kind of confused why that would happen, but... So you've completed your mission. Where the heck are you? Oh, okay. You're there. High-tech research for being here. Okay, well, can you squeeze over to here? It shouldn't... That should be doable without... Yeah, going... That should definitely be doable without going <clears throat> outside of the range of uh, refueling. And lastly, we have one more. You... Oh, construction ship's done. Okay, you're done refueling. Great. So now what do we have? We have one here that could be... We might as well just grab it. Just start setting up our civilian economy. This is just going to be gas, I think. Strategic. Yep, that's good. Oh boy, man, they just keep on coming. So the daunting's done. Let's get the daunting to build a resort here, because I think we have plenty of places now. I'm going to ignore the ones that are outside of our system now. And neither of these... Let's build one at S-style because we already have something there. And it's easier to defend two things in the same location anyway. Yeah, and this has got Osalia 100%. It's crazy how good... I'm not... I'm, I'm either... This is normal and I'm very unlucky usually. Or I play normal games typically and this is like exceptionally good luck. So let's get a Disney base there. Someone else has finished their mission. Did you, what the? Oh, this is the person who, yes. So what we have here is a planet with runes. Yes, let us go explore. And is there any abandoned ships in this? No, it doesn't look like it. So just this rune that we can go look at, it will probably just give us money or a map, or maybe it'll just have nothing of interest, but it'll act as some place we can build a resort later. <coughs> Excuse me. We don't know until we explore. Well, that was quick. Oh, boy. Well, this is one of the worst options, obviously, is that you can explore a planet with Terry Rune and the pirates can ambush you. Now, the interesting thing here is <laughs> we don't have any military ships at all. <clears throat> Will he be able to escape? I think so. Let's get him to escape. Now, I don't think we're going to want to be put in touch with another... Empire again, even though money... Oh! <clears throat> I think it's worth it to spend 27000 to speed up this research. And let's speed up this one as well. How's our home planet doing, by the way? I didn't check lately. Happiness is at 17. Good. Holding strong at 17. We might even want to lower that by raising taxes a bit more as soon as we colonize. And I think... The next thing on the list is colonization, if I'm not mistaken. Nope, we're going to... Oh yeah, it is the next thing on the list, number two. And this one should be jumping up to shields. And what we do after that is kind of a good question. There's lots of good options. Uh, maybe... I 
I think maybe probably thrust vectors. It's weird, but um, if you're not thinking about military, everything else is done with hyperdrive and maneuvering. So that actually makes this a higher priority, uh, higher priority than even the engines themselves. Although, what am I saying? Everybody uses nuclear fission right now, so that'll be the next thing. And then after that, we'll do this and then this. And then energy collection, which we don't really need. It looks like we have a lot of good sources of fuel. This will just stop us from burning through fuel a little bit faster. I mean, it'll, it'll slow down our the rate we burn through fuel because our reactors will be able to, our, they'll basically be solar pa um, powered if they're a stationary station. Okay. <clears throat> <clears throat> Jeez, man, excuse me. Okay. I would say no thanks to this. So what we're gonna do is no thanks. Goodbye. And guess what? I think it is time to build our next, our, our first military ship. Okay, so this is, brings us to an interesting discussion of how I wanna do my ship designs. I know I've mentioned several times how there's lots of different styles of doing this. Um, Sometimes what I do is I have my frigates be just the smallest size ship I have. But other times I'll have frigates take an exact role. And that may mean that they're bigger in size than destroyers. But, for example, you can have frigates who are kind of like uh, close-in laser brawlers. And destroyers are like your missile destroyers. And then cruisers have, you know, maybe the cruisers are your boarding ships. And then your battleships will be really quick, heavy, they'll be like battle cruisers, basically. Quick, um, heavy attack units that, and then your dreadnoughts will be like your sieging units where these are the things you're gonna assault other stations with. Um, actually, the best thing for assaulting stations is honestly just uh, carriers because they can attack from extreme range, which is always good, but they do shoot down your, um, your little interceptors, so it can take a while. <laughs> you just slowly wear them down Anyway, I think what we'll be doing is I'm going to try to keep ships at a specific size. And frigates are what we're going to be using like everywhere. This is what we just want frigates. Just think of them as patrol boats, like your Coast Guard, whatever. For this, I am just going to make them like laser ships. And they're just going to be really simple laser ships. Now we don't have shields yet, damn it, anyhow. And that is a problem. Uh, it's funny also because right now we have um, two people who should be protecting us and for very little money. Unfortunately, I'm not sure what they're going to do. So these guys, are, oh, this is interesting. They're in contact with some other people. That is interesting. They know about other people. Well, let's just sit tight and see what happens. No, that's not a good idea. We we just need to build a military ship. <laughs> I'll have to build them with armor to start. I really don't like that, but that's okay. So this will be our frigate. Standoff, all weapons, very good. Flea win, shields, 20%. Armor, 50%, or shields, 20%, because they're not going to have shields. Well, we only have standard armor, so that's not uh, fantastic. Actually, what do you want to do first? Yeah, you do actually want to build standard armor first. Then you want to get your space reactor going, I think, because that'll give that time to start loading up fuel, standard fuel cells. Um, then let's put our guns on. We have the Maxos Blaster, I'm pretty sure, right? There it is. Probably just, hmm, maybe eight of them. It's quite a lot. Yeah, we might need uh, more space reactors, but yeah, I'm pretty sure we're going to need a space reactor. Yeah, oh, of course, we're going to need at least three because hyperdrive. And that may be all we need for the ship, just because. Okay, so... Here's our warp drive. 
Oh, you know what? We're going to cancel this. We're not going to build it yet because we're so close to getting the next jump in hyperdrives. It doesn't make sense to build a ship and then retrofit it like uh, a few minutes later. So we will continue on, fingers crossed. Even if we take a few casualties, we'll just rebuild. It won't be the end of the world. Okay, you completed your escape, I guess. <laughs> I suppose that's what... Oh, did you die? Frugal Bluff. I see no Frugal Bluff. <laughs> she didn't make it. <laughs> well, that's okay. You know, you win some, you lose some. Okay, this is a great planet. Okay, so let's put this as control three. Um, and this is a pretty small system. Oh, now there's one more out here. This is another pretty good planet. Where are we exactly? Okay, Algora. So, again, it's always nice to have, oh, this is already, oh, this is ours. Wait, what was your mission? Were you exploring a system we already have a... Yeah, this is an ore luxury. We've already... What? Why did I go here? How did I... I guess the construction ship finished and left by the um, before this person even finished exploring? That doesn't make sense. I've forgotten everything. I don't know why this person's here. So we lost one exploration ship. Well, the good news is we were paying less maintenance now. And the cool thing is, you know what, we don't have to be too worried. The pirates that we encountered are way up here. We don't have anything, the closest thing we're going to have is on Westray. So that's a good distance for them to come. I'm not even sure they know where we are. Although, the pirates, I'm not sure, they might just start with that knowledge. Okay, there's Hyperdrive. We'll probably just kickstart um, shields right away. Yeah, so this will take 72,000. Absolutely. You know what? We will try to hold off for shields then, because the shields makes a, such a big difference. Obviously, having a re regenerating defense, it makes your ship's longevity like, 10 times as much. Uh, otherwise, Frugal Bluff, RIP. Vane Trailblazer, you are done. What is going on here? You know what? Just refuel at the nearest refueling point then. I don't know what's going on. And talk to me when you're done with that. Okay, Resolute Agent is ready to be retasked. See, you're not done. What the hell's wrong with you? You didn't get any of these things. Okay, let me do explore all systems in E3 and see what he does. No, what the heck? He's not doing? Huh. Are you missing a part? Nope, you have your profile sensor. I don't understand. I really don't understand your reluctance. Okay, so let's do it the hard way. Move, then Q, move, then Q, move. Good, so they'll get those three. What other things have they missed here? Oh my gosh, they missed like everything. So strange. It's like having a kid and telling them to clean their room and they just shove everything into the corner. Not that I would know anything about that. Okay, let's get this done. Wow, they, they just did like nothing. I think they explored like two bodies. Okay, they, they got two of like ten. <laughs> they called their mission complete. Alright, let's give them a little bit more credit. They got probably half of the planets here. Still, it's pretty terrible. And that means a lot of the asteroids are probably not... Ah, whatever. Okay. Well, just do all of that. They have, you can see, six missions queued. Let them finish with that before we give them new orders. Now, hyperdrive technology does mean that all of our scouts are probably obsolete. But let's not revamp them until we get shields. We can throw one shield on each of them. Which means that they probably won't be dying anymore. Now this is always interesting. 
these actually are useful. I mean, sometimes they're not, sometimes it's another rune with another pirate lying, lying in wait, or it's really just not worth it. But I would say that this is the only thing I'd take a chance on. Unfortunately, it's also the most expensive thing. But I'm going to do it. Because getting there first is sometimes more important than waiting and doing something better with the money. So they said G3. Oh my. <sighs> well, guess what? We found the Havenite Republic. Okay, so that was kind of interesting. It it didn't directly introduce us to the Haven um, Republic. But it told us exactly where they are and the fact that they have, well, of course they have two runes in their, in their system and one of them was hyperdrive and this one is not. They should have an abandoned ship here as well though. Uh, the AI is not usually good about repairing their abandoned ships so you can actually go and steal their uh, abandoned ships, which is nice. All right, but anyways, let's just keep going. Oh, we finished advanced research. This is actually important. We want to start building our first facility, the Rusin Technology Universal Wonder. That should, shouldn't take too long because we are maxed at our population, which is great. And what else do we have? Do we have anybody who's not doing anything? Nope, everything looks good. And we got a new scientist. Well, they're at the research station. They're actually negative. Don't worry, only the best trait is taken. These aren't cumulative, so that negative doesn't hurt us. And this decreases the chance this guy with a methodical trait decreases the chance of critical research success or failure. I don't really care about the decrease or increase in stuff. I'm more risk averse, so I probably prefer the decrease of failure. The more decreases we have, the more reliable our, um, our crash programs are. Because with the chance of a critical breakthrough, that what that does is it gives you a free crash program if you know for sure you're not going to get a cash program, a crash program for cash, then it's a lot. Uh, if you get one for free, you wasted money uh, if you were going to do it with money. So what I'm trying to say is if you know you won't get a free crash one, it's a safer bet to spend money on them. So I kind of like those decreases. Somebody else has finished their mission. Somebody else who's a bit close to the enemy. We'll get them to explore this system, but after that, pretty soon, we're gonna start retasking our guys, sending them back home to await the next retrofit. And that next one is gonna take us all the way around the, the entire galaxy. Whew. Constant work these folk. The system doesn't seem to have much. Polymer, which is always nice. Ah, helium hydrogen. Oh, this is a good one. Okay, we'll set this as control four. Where exactly is this? Oh, wow. You know, that's... Well, again, in a moment, we're not gonna need <laughs> a refueling station so close. Having a lot of them is still nice because then your civilian economy can do whatever it wants. But yeah, in a moment, we, a jump from Westry to uh, Kyadia is gonna be done in no time and cost very little fuel, which would be great. So, what did we want this person to do next? That is a good question. Have we... Uh, I guess we haven't explored this. Let's actually get them to go refuel at the nearest refueling point. And we'll retask them, because they're... The amount of area they can cover is pretty small. Somebody else finished their mission. This was probably to refuel. 
Let's do this. Let's explore all systems in D4, see where they go. Okay, good. So they'll kind of start auto-tasking at this point. Actually, let me set this to explore that system directly so that I get a message when it's done. I'd like to see what that one looks like when he's finished. This is probably also another explore. Let's see. Okay, that is the nearest one. Where do I want you to go? Oh, what? 85% on shields. Good God. Okay, we'll get home. Move to Planet Manticore. I don't think we care as much about this. I'll let my explorers get these. You can see how the 30,000 did not in the end pay off for us. We're about to get better Maxos blasters. What did we want next? What, what do we have? Do we have anything next? We don't. <laughs> well, it's a good thing I checked. What do we want to go for next? You know, uh, better armor is pretty nice. I usually get that pretty quick. As soon as we have nice missiles, which we're going to have, we I mean, we can upgrade this anytime we want. Actually, the thing I want the most is these efficient blasters, just because that's what's going to go on my first tier military ships. So let's just do this. Let's get high density alloys next. And then... I forgot which of these two is better. Uh, 320 for range, 7 damage. 220 for range, 12 damage. <clears throat> I, I used to have all the DPS damage per second stuff all figured out. I'm pretty sure the lower range ones, it's just a simple calculation, the lower range ones are more damaging, but <clears throat> I don't remember which of these two I prefer. 320. For some reason, I think I might actually prefer the long range lasers. Impact Assault or Shatter Force. Okay, this is uses 38 energy per shot of 12 damage. So that means just over three energy used per damage. And this one's just under three energy used per damage, so it's slightly more efficient. And it loses less damage per distance, which probably means the damage per shot. So the fire rate is 1.5, which means the damage is, we can just, uh, Let's do damage per three seconds, which means that this is 14 damage per three seconds. And this one is, oh God, that's going to be, well, it's much more than 50, it's much more than, <laughs> much more damage. So this one has much higher DPS, but it's much less energy efficient per damage. I'm going to go with the long range lasers. Yep. Efficiency has always been kind of one of my uh, holy grails. So we'll continue that trend. Great. So we have the improved Maxos blasters, which we that immediately applies to all everything that has a Maxos blaster. Obviously, we don't have any Maxos blasters, so it was not important to get that research done yet. Good. What? How much do we need? We need 150,000 to crash course the next thing. I think from here on in, we're going to crash course pretty much everything because we have a really steady income, and research is the way of the future. I mean, quite literally, we're... <laughs> paving our designs for the future so we have shields we have everything done it's time to design that ship at last now we can create you okay let's do armor or shields uh, what we're going to start off with is I think the f first thing I want to start building is shields <clears throat> now my escorts will probably get one shield, but I think for my frigates, let's start with two shields and see if maybe I want to get a third. I probably want to get a third, so maybe, no, maybe I'll start with two, and then we'll get five armor, probably ten armor on there. <clears throat> you can think of this as, this is a hundred points of armor, and we have two hundred points in shields. Um, the more shields you have, or the higher this number is, the, how do I want to say this? When you have a very low amount of shields and armor, you want to have 
a higher ratio of armor to shields. But as you go into like the thousands, you don't need like a thousand armor. Like a 500 armor is just a ton. You very rarely need to use 500 armor. So um, this is actually quite a lot of armor for a small ship. Maybe we'll even cut it back down. But armor is usually not that expensive. So maybe, we, I don't know, we'll, f we'll finagle armor. Armor is a really nice thing to fill in the last gap in because it doesn't take any energy and it just takes up one size. So you can min-max your way to the by one size at a time, which is nice. Let's get that reactor. Why am I not seeing you? You're right. Oh, no, we didn't get a new reactor yet. Oh, I sorted by name. That explains it. There it is. Three of those. <clears throat> Our new Garrick set. Look at the speed is like a whole order of magnitude better. Now we don't need as many fuel cells. Look at our range. Well, as soon as we put an ion thruster on, we'll get some range. We're, our range is now five sectors, whereas here it was like, what, we were fighting to get 1.6? So just with four standard fuel cells, we're already getting a range of five sectors. It's really impressive. Uh, we do want decent thrusters on these ships because they will be sprinting in the battle. So we'll probably do something like this. Uh, we also want them to be able to turn pretty quickly, so maybe I'll min-max that a little bit, but 9.6 sounds okay to me. We need a command center. Hab and life. Let's get hab first. Wow, four. Okay, so here we are, sitting at 194 size. It's a pretty good ship, though. And it's going to be a frigate. What do we want to call this? Well, I could do I could do something where I name it after all the uh, like British style ships, which is what the Kingdom of Manticore does. But I'm going to keep mine really simple. I am going to that's such a simple name, but it, it is the function it's going to hold. It is an escort. Although I took the name escort out. What's a nice name for like an escort type ship? I honest to God don't know. <laughs> uh, names of things. Well, I can always rename it. I'll just call it the frigate escort for now. I really don't like that frigate. It's kind of a light exploring ship. Probe, no, I, I hate it when I can't think of it. Uh, let's see. Well, <clears throat> I don't like that either. Forget. You know what? I'll just call this the flanker. I don't know why, but that's just what came to mind. The frigate flanker has some automatopoeia to it, so whatever. That's good. Good enough. And it has to have weapons. Oh, you don't say. I almost forgot. Maxos weapons. I think eight will be enough. Oh, okay. So we were just over the size if we do that many. I could take off a standard fuel cell, but probably fours. We, I mean, more range is always better. So we're four over. What I could do is eliminate one Maxos blaster, give him seven, and then go back and add one more armor. So perfect, we have two six and seven max ghost blasters. Firepower 42 is decent. Um, two shields are gonna keep us alive for a decent amount of time. We are currently generating 10, 128 excess energy. We're only using 68 energy per second. We only use like one energy for shield recharge. Everything looks good on this. And uh, six armor is actually plenty. I think I usually use less than this, but I'm going to trend towards more armor in this. So. so that's good. Everything's ready to go. The frigate flanker is custom made and ready to go. Well, this is a good place to call uh, this episode to a close as well, because we're getting on 40 minutes. So thanks for watching, and stay tuned for next episode, where I guess we're going to try to hunt down some of the pirates, or at least start getting some patrol fleets up and running so that we can defend our empire. 
So again, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next episode.